my father always feel that everybody has can and has a duty to contribute to society so his contribution to society is through education although he was not a teacher that did not limit his contribution Singapore began attracting waves of migrants shortly after its founding as a British trading settlement. Amongst the thousands of traders, many Arabic merchants made the island their home. Most never left and considered themselves as locals, and along with that, they adopted the problems of our society as their own. One such community leader was Said Ali Reda Al Sagov. He took it upon himself to solve the increasing illiteracy of the Malay Muslim population. In the early 60s, there were a lot of uh, poor Malay Muslim students who couldn't uh, continue their studies because they didn't have funds. Seeing poverty hinder the path of education motivated Said Ali Reda Al Sagov to set up the Prophet Muhammad Memorial Fund in 1965. Even today, he is known as the father of scholarships in recognition of his pivotal role in funding the education of many Malay Muslims. He proposed the idea to start a scholarship fund to commemorate the birthday of the Prophet. It's in line with Islamic teaching that you should seek knowledge from cradle to grave. My father's vision of LBKM is that education is the foundation of progress for the society. And that was the rallying point for all involved. LBKM is uh, a lot to the community because uh, it has continued to serve uh, the varying needs of education and that I think as we all know education is a very important pillar of our society. LBKM was the first to rally 73 Malay Muslim organizations throughout Malaya working towards a shared purpose. This was significant during a time when each group had differing objectives or political agendas. Not many people today understand uh, I realized that LBKM actually uh, was started with, uh, by different group of uh, Malay Muslim organization. In fact, they had uh, AMNO there, PAS and PAP members all working together for the benefit of the Malay Muslim society. They were different but with one goal, to ensure the education uh, of the Malay Muslim uh, society. I thought it is a Herculean task to get everyone to come together with a common vision. Imagine at that point of time, the political situation in Singapore and Malaysia. His vision of uh, helping our needy students and to get people to come together Everybody were, was actually working uh, towards the benefit of our students. Over the last 50 years, more than $18 million have assisted recipients from primary to postgraduate level under the LBKM banner. Said Ali's dedication to the cause of education in Singapore only saw his retirement from LBKM in 1995 after 30 years as president. To him, every project was to involve the community. The community must identify with the organization, must identify with the project, must identify with, with the purpose. For someone like him to be around, uh, to give the kind of inspiration and guidance to the younger leaders, uh, aspiring leaders, or people who want to serve the community, that's the beauty of uh, Sayyid Ali. He was very fatherly. 
but at the same time he can reach down to your level to be a friend and he can bridge the generation gap that exists in those days. That is why LBKM was successful because it was not an effort of one man or one group or one party for one time. It is, an, it is a, a, the cooperation of the society, the people in the organisation and also in relation with society. Having paved the route for more than 24,000 recipients since its conception, it is no doubt that LBKM will continue to do so for years to come. There is no truer testament to the legacy and perseverance of its founder, Syed Ali Reda Alsagov, who never stopped believing in the future generations. LBKM was established just to raise the uh, social socio-economic status of our community. People identify LBKM as part of the Muslim community. It is being carried by the community. We do still receive donations of uh, $2 and $5 in the mail. And I recall one particular note that we received several years ago that was attached to a $2 donation. It said, this is the only amount that I can afford to donate. Even though the amount is small, to us in LBKM, uh, we really treasure it. This giving spirit is still alive, uh, even though these donors could not afford large sums of contribution. When you set up an organisation with a special mission, and especially when you are helping uh, needy students, you know that you will always remain relevant, uh, even 50, 100 years to come.